Okay, so this is my new oil pan. To make my oil pan a little more rust proof, I was thinking of using this here. But after a bit of research, it's not really a good idea. So uh, regular paint or high temperature paint is probably better. So I sand this a little bit and now I'm just gonna paint it. This is what I use to clean. A uh, plastic scraper and brass uh, brush and some alcohol. Okay, so my mating surface is clean, scrape, there's no more old residue RTV, and now I'm ready for my next step. Okay, so the um, proper way to install a gasket on that is actually an RTV gasket. But, knowing myself with RTV, uh, I'm gonna use a Felt Pro gasket. This is not OEM, this is uh, aftermarket. It just goes on between the oil pan and the engine block uh, without any RTV, and it's just torque to spec, and that's it. So, I will update the performance of this gasket in the comment section as time goes on and if you're interested in this this is the part number it's from Felpro and this here is the uh, bolting sequence this is the oil drain here and basically it's uh, it's crisscross and the, the last bolt in the corner or last Okay, so I'm gonna use a torque wrench because I don't want to take all that stuff apart again so I want to do it right the first time so no guessing here so that was the last one I'm gonna go around one more time Should be good. Four bolt for the subframe. One on each corner. On this model, it's torque at 76 foot pound. Make sure the bolt is center with your mark. And that's a three bolt for the rear engine mount. Engine mount. The next step is to reattach your sway bar and your ball joint.
The reason I use a Felpro gasket, uh, it's because the engine is in the car. Uh, if it was out of the car, um, it would be really easy to do a bead of RTV and do a nice job. But in the car, to me, that was the best option. So let me know if you guys agree in the comment section. And thanks for watching.